If you are at least a little bit like me, you must be using several tabs and apps at the same time. Until some point you can manage that. You can use multiple desktops, use mission control, you can minimize or hide some apps. But when it's too much, you will need to start closing or fully quitting some apps. I named this video 5 ways how to close apps. Because there is actually quite a difference between closing the windows and quitting the apps fully. That's a topic for another video, let's keep it simple here and start with the techniques. The simplest way to close an app is to hit the close button on the app status bar. The red one, all the way on the left. As you can see, I close the window, but when you look at the dock, there is still dot under the app showing that it is still active on the background. Well, once I'm already here in the dock, I can just right click it or control click the icon and select quit from the menu. So that's the second method. You don't need to close the window first, you can do it right away from here and quit the app using the applications icon in the dock. Another way how to quit an app is to use the menu on top. First you have to make sure that you are currently using the app. I have pages open in front, but if I click on the desktop, I have actually switched to the finder. I have to be in the app I want to quit. So I will click back onto the pages window to select it. And now I can go up here and click on the name in the menu bar. From this menu, I can select quit. Straight away here you can see the next method. And that is to use the keyboard shortcut. Using the combination command plus Q will instantly kill the app without any issues. I have actually made few useful keyboard shortcuts cheat sheets. You can download them for free on the Apple Online Academy website. You will find links for it in the description of this video. Last method which I use the least is the app switcher. But it is still a useful and fast way how to do that. If you hold down the command key and press the tab key on your keyboard, it will open the app switcher. Do not lift your finger from the command key and use the tab key over and over to navigate to the app you want to close. Then simply press Q on your keyboard to close that app. Further, you might continue hitting the Q key to quit all the apps. It's maybe a bit complicated way, but you can close any app from here without physically selecting it. So the switcher allows you great flexibility over managing all the open apps. As you can see, closing apps on the Mac is a really simple task which can be done in multiple ways. But if the app is not responding, these techniques will not work. You will need to force quit the app. And there are also two ways how to do it on the Mac. Let me quickly show you. The standard way to do it is to go to Apple menu on top, select force quit and from the list you can quit any app even if it's not responding. The other even faster way is to right click the app you want to force quit in the dock and press the option key on your keyboard. The standard quit command will change into force quit and this is the most direct way how to get it done within 3 clicks. In general you don't need to worry about few apps in the background. Mac is managing that very well and you will not have any performance issues. The only thing is that it has impact on your battery. So if you want your Mac to last longer, keep these background apps at the bare minimum. <laughs> 